everyone, my name is Kaite, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet these easy flowers in the pot. For this project, you're going to need your number three lightweight yarn with a four millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need some sort of a styrofoam ball, hot glue, and optional beads to glue them onto the center of each flower. To work on the flower, we're going to start with the magic ring. To work on your magic ring, hold on to your yarn tail with your thumb, wrap your yarn around your two fingers, crisscross it in the front, hold on to the working yarn with your ring finger, insert your hook underneath the first circle. Using the second circle, bring out a loop, twist it, go into your working yarn and chain one. Here we have a magic ring with the chain one. Into this magic ring, we're going to work five single crochets. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and pull on this yarn tail to tighten the center, but don't do it too hard. For round two, we're going to start by working a slip stitch using the first stitch, which is right over here. Go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and back into this first stitch, we're going to work three double crochets. Here's one, two, and three. Chain one, and slip stitch back into that first stitch, that same stitch. Here we finish working on our first petal, and we're going to repeat around. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, Chain one, work three double crochets. Here's one, two, and three. Chain one, and slip stitch back into that same stitch. Let's repeat one more time. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, chain one, work three double crochets all into that same stitch, one, two, and three, chain one, and slip stitch back into that same stitch. Here we worked on three petals, continue working for two more petals, and I'll meet you at the end, we'll finish it together. At the end you should have five petals. To end, we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch using the first stitch, chain one, and cut your yarn. Pull out your hook, tighten it. We're not weaving in the yarn tails, we just tighten the one in the middle and bring this yarn tail towards the back. And we're just going to go ahead and tie them together. So I'm making a knot. Now we're going to cut this yarn tails. And your flower is ready. You're going to need a total of 13 flowers. Go ahead and crochet your flowers and then I'll meet you back. We'll glue them onto the styrofoam ball. Go ahead and choose your ceramic pot and then make sure your styrofoam ball is fitting. And I like to start gluing my flower right in the center, right on top. And then from there I'm going to come on this side and then come on this side. So I'm going to glue those flowers first. So starting right in the center in the middle right here. Just using my flower coming to the back. I'm going to add a little bit of glue right in the middle and then just placing it right in the middle center. Like that. Then I'm going to come on this side and place two more flowers on this side right here. Glue them down and then repeat same thing on this side. I finished gluing five flowers right on the top. I'm going to come on this side and glue two flowers right here 
and then repeat the same thing on this side glue two flowers right over here so a line here and a line here Here we finished gluing flowers on this side, two on this side, and two right over here. And we have the spaces in between. And I'm just going to go ahead and add one flower into each of these areas right here, the spaces. We finish gluing on all the flowers if your styrofoam ball is showing a little bit you can glue the petals together just with tiny amount of glue and just pinch them together next you can glue the styrofoam ball just adding a little bit of glue right around here and then gluing it down into the pot or you can leave it without gluing and change it up using different kind of pots you have it's up to you here. I'm going to glue on beads right in the center of each flower. And I just have my plastic beads right here. Just going to use that. So pick up each bead, add some glue and glue it on. Same thing, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue and add it to the center, like so. I'm going to continue and glue on all the beads here and then I'll meet you back. And here are finished flowers in the pot. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.